Good morning, lovely youth and students uh, for our final day this week. This is uh, last daily thought for this week. Um, I can't believe we've done five already. It's gone so quickly. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the sun. It seems to have gone in today, but that is good because it was getting a little bit hot. So uh, nice break from all that oppressive heat, I think. So let's begin by praying. Yeah, Holy Spirit, come. Father, thank you for your word. And thank you for the gift of wisdom. We pray that you would pour out your gift of wisdom on all of us today. That we may be wise and discern how to live well in your world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Fab, so grab your Bibles and we have finally hit Proverbs chapter 2 and we're going to look at the first eight verses today. So uh, I'm going to read them and then we will have a little dig into them as to what they might be saying. So we're back to the parent talking to the child um, type of um, part of the first nine chapters. So we've had um, one of those and then wisdom, the personified uh, wisdom speak. And now we're back to a parent talking to a child. My child, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as if for silver and search for it as if for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose way of life is blameless. For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Now again, this is uh, in two parts. So if we start with the first five verses so the the parent is uh, imploring the child to to seek after wisdom he's like it's this is so good like this is so good that you you should be calling out for insight you should be crying aloud you know shouting for understanding um that wisdom is like silver that you should search for or you know a hidden treasure that you know you should spend a lot of try- time seeking to find because wisdom is so valuable it is so important and we so need it um and he says when you find it you will understand the fear of the lord now this reminded me of a, a story from when i was a student Um, I was trying to write some essays nearing the end of my second year. Um, I'd had an extension because life was, uh, was a little bit up and down. Um, and I was finding it really hard to write these essays. Um, I just, I just didn't want to do them. I had no energy left. I just, I just didn't see, uh, how it was going to be possible. And during that time, I was like, well, apparently, you can ask God for anything. And apparently, you know, um, in our weakness, we find his strength. So I was like, Lord, you know, I have nothing left. Um, I need you to write these essays for me. Um, and my, my song at the time, the verse as well, as the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I was like, Father, like 
apparently you created everything, you know, you, you were before everything. Um, so that means you created drama, you've created these essays that I need to write, help me write them. And no word of a lie, um, two essays, one 4,000 words, one 3,000 words, um, I managed to write in one weekend, um, having done a little bit of prep for one of them, no prep for the other, did that all on one day. Um, I managed to see the sunrise, uh, feed some friends some porridge after seeing the sunrise. Uh, I watched a movie with some friends um, and I still managed to get these essays done, trusting in God and trusting in his direction, his wisdom um, at that time. Because um, that sounds, sounds a little bit foolish, doesn't it? You know, I've got these two essays that are really important to get in that I've already had an extension on. Um, and I'm going off to see the sunrise and I'm going off to spend time with two of my friends to watch. Um, we're actually watching a Christian film, which was really cool. Um, but that doesn't sound very wise at all. Um, but that whole weekend, I was like, Lord, I have nothing. Show me the way. I, I can't do this on my own, I need you. I was, as it says in chapter two, I was calling out for insight, I was crying aloud for understanding. I was searching for uh, God in this time because I didn't have anything left. And this is no word of a lie, they are the best essays I've ever written. <laughs> and the, the best mark I'd ever gotten on an essay was one of them. And I believe that that was truly because God made a way. He showed me the wisdom that I needed in that time for how to do it and in trusting him, uh, he made that time a success. Um, so I would have a story, I would have a testimony to share with you of God's goodness, um, that seeking after him, seeking after his wisdom, seeking after his uh, discernment is priceless and so valuable like it says in those first four verses and it reminds us that again we are not God he is God we are not and he you just can't help but stand in awe like when something like that happens you can't you can't ever forget that you can't forget the awesomeness of our creator god that in fact you know he proved he didn't have to but he proved he was like yeah of course i was there before the beginning of time i was there before you were even born i knew you before you were even knit together in your mother's womb i knew that you would be here right now doing these drama essays i created drama and of course i love to pour out my gifts i love to pour out my wisdom on those who seek after me who trust in me and that is that just when we see that happen we can't deny how valuable wisdom is just like this parent is saying to their child um, turn your ear to wisdom apply your heart to understanding because he knows the parent knows what he says in verses six to eight for the Lord gives wisdom. He loves to give it. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for up, the upright. He is a shield to those whose way is, of life is blameless. And he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. God wants you to have wisdom. That's why we've got a whole book that's like, come on, come and get to know the wisdom of God. Um, so that you are prepared for difficult times. You're prepared with the knowledge of who God is and his awesomeness, that he will be with you, uh, that he will protect the ways of his faithful ones um, and that he loves to partner with us. He loves to give us insight into to what is going on um, and to have understanding that, you know, you can't find that there's no there's no earthly understanding there's no earthly wisdom that compares to the wisdom and understanding of God and um and that all comes from a place of just remembering that we aren't superhuman that we aren't the hero in the situation um that God is God that he is bigger than everything uh and that he will be with you in every situation uh, if you turn your eyes towards him. 
so wisdom is not it's not to be turned up to turn your nose up at um because it will help you when you come across the dilemmas of your day the difficult conversations the things that just don't make sense in this world so do not think of it as something that you can take or leave um, because it is a part of the fabric of our world uh, and it's an attribute of God so as the parent says here seek after it that we may understand more of God's awesomeness and his authority in our lives and the lives of everyone in this world so yeah, that's uh, the first part of chapter two. Uh, on Monday, we'll dig back into the second part of chapter two. Um, but I hope that you found that helpful. And yeah, if you're at a loss, call out to him, cry out to him. Say, Father, I need your wisdom. I need your insight in this because I don't know what to do. I, I can't do it on my own because I'm not God. Um, and he loves, he loves to honour those that ask him so god bless for now have a wonderful weekend uh make sure to check in on sunday at 2 30 for our next episode of grace and claim in the bungalow which is for the youth um but it's it's quite funny i think it's quite funny so uh have a little look at that um there's also our church services at 10 a.m uh, online uh, which is on youtube and um yeah god bless for now <laughs>